To load the FCS2 chamber, first take the white top and place upside down. Next, take the upper perfusion gasket and align the holes over the perfusion ports on the top. Then, take the microaqueduct slide with perfusion T grooves facing away from the chamber and align the holes of the slide on the perfusion ports of the top. Tip, if you do not align these components, damage can occur to the slide and cause a leak in the chamber. Take your internal gasket and align on the microaqueduct slide. Tip, to help cells plate faster, use a culture cylinder. This will allow you to place the cells where you want them on the cover slip and allow them to plate faster. Taking forceps, remove the culture cylinder. Then slide the forceps under the 40 mm cover slip and remove from petri dish. Place the 40 mm cover slip sample toward white top with gaskets. Take the base of the chamber, then make sure the closure paws are open. The paw to the left side of the electrical connector should be close, not far in position. Invert the base and align onto the loaded white top. Keep downward pressure on the base while lifting the white top as a complete assembly, essentially pinching the white top and base together. Continue to keep pressure on the stack while flipping over. Rotate the self-locking base by the knurled ring and the paws should slide over the white top. If this does not occur, rotate the knurled ring the opposite direction to open the chamber base up more, as it was not opened enough initially. During initial perfusion of media, it is suggested to hold the chamber at a 45 or 90 degree angle perpendicular from the table or hood. The inflow side should be closest to the table as this allows the media to purge the chamber of air. If air bubbles are present, you can simply tap on the chamber while perfusing and air bubbles will clear. Wipe the additional media from the cover slip to prevent any media from contacting the microscope or dripping. Open the lock on the electrical connector by sliding it so the lock is fully open exposing the holes. Place the connector over the mating posts on the white top. Then slide the locking tab with arrow to secure the connector on the FCS2 chamber. The FCS2 chamber is now ready to load into a stage adapter, then onto a microscope for imaging.